Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and this is the Shortcut series. Today I am going to show you a couple of interesting features about smart objects. Whenever you duplicate a smart object, you actually use the same source for both the instances of the smart object. But there's an option in Photoshop that you can separate the source files for the smart objects as well. When do you want to use one and the other? When you want to make sure that the instances are connected to each other and you can change all of them from changing one of the sources, then it is very useful to duplicate simply. But when you want to detach an instance from the others and change separately, but still keeping it as a smart object, then you should use the option called new smart object via copy. So new smart object via copy. And the normal option is to just simply duplicate command J, the keyboard shortcut. So let me show you first of all, if I, for example, select this uh, icon here, a command click on it and I press command J, then I can move it and place it here in this gap. And this will be a simply duplicated version of the same smart object, okay? Which means if I double click on the uh, smart object's thumbnail and here I make a difference, let's just say I flip it around, flip it uh, horizontally and save the smart object. And when I come back here, you can see I have all the instances flipped around of the same smart object. If I go back again inside it and I press F4 to flip it back, then all the others will be flipped back again. Now let me select this and delete. And I am going to select a Facebook icon. Let's just see, that's the source. Okay, so this is the source that we have. And if I right click on this smart object and choose new smart object via copy, then I will have a new version, which I can move again and resize. But the advantage of having this is that whatever change and difference I make on this won't affect the other smart objects uh, using the same source. So now if I double click on this and I flip it around, save it and go back, you can see it will only affect this one but not the others. I can go back one step, F1, um, with my custom keyboard shortcuts and keep that version as well, the same as the others, if I want to. So you don't have to always go into the smart object source. You can even do it from outside of the smart object, changes back and forth, like this one is a good example. So remember that you can create two kinds of duplicates uh, of smart objects. Just simply duplicate it or create a new smart object via copy, which will be a completely separate element, while the others will always be linked together. Each of these has its advantages and disadvantages. You just need to make sure you understand when to use which one of them. And just as a reminder, in this case, I used the color overlay as a group layer style. This is only available since CS6. It is very useful because I can always change the color from here instead of applying a color overlay effect on each of the layers. That's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you found this technique useful. And if you join me next time, you can learn about a non-destructive out-of-bounds effect. Thanks a lot for your attention today and see you next time.